Hey guys, welcome to the Tarot Closet. My name's Gail. Um, so I tried to do an unboxing video, but I wasn't able to upload it on my computer. It, um, I don't know why it wouldn't read it, but I wasn't able to find it on my iCloud. Um, so I'm just gonna do a small little walkthrough of the Delta and Doran Tarot by Egan. Um, comes in this hot box um yeah it's your regular talk box it came um all beat up it's not sturdy at all not my favorite but i'm not gonna use the box anyway um and then it comes with this um book It, um, it, it's a small little book, but it's thick. It's got plenty of information. Um, so I will admit, when I first went through the cards, they were very, very confusing. Um, because the suits are renamed from, let's see, there's a list of them here. Okay, we gotta go through the main terms. Minor Arcana, so they are renamed as, um, let's see, oh wow, well, can't even find it. Well, there's one here. Uh, so, oysters, which will replace cups. Moths will replace swords. Um, oak will replace wands. And then lastly, uh, the iron, the cast iron will uh, replace the um, pentacles. <clears throat> so yeah, when I went through the cards, it it, it got me a little confused because I wasn't sure which suit was which. But once once you get to know the new names, um, then you can easily um, understand what the meanings meaning of the card is because it does follow a Rider Waite Smith system. Um, so it comes with a reading cloth. Mine came kind of dirty, but I mean, I don't mind it. I can just wash it. Um, so it's got the suits, the iron casts. I'm assuming the oaks. Sorry for the camera here. And it's got the moth and the oyster. So it's pretty cool. It came with that reading cloth. Um, cardstock. Very, very disappointing. Very disappointing. Um, it's gloss, glossy, so it's very shiny. It's really thin, but not like the thin, good thin, where it's like flexible and it holds uh, the shape. These don't. If you bend it, it's got that bowing. Um, and as many of many of you know from um, the Facebook group. For the love of cards, uh, or for love of cards, um, I am huge on cardstock. The it's probably one of the most single important thing that I'm looking forward in a deck. Um, so I'm not gonna flip through them all. They're not in order. I've already shuffled them. They do shuffle nicely though, even though the card stock is not my favorite. Ah, that's just horrible. <laughs> Let me redo that. Um, so they, they do shuffle nice. Okay, 
shuffling is not my forte today. Um, so let's go through a couple. The Empress. Hierophant. Well, this would be the Two of Cups, which is now renamed the Two of Oysters. The Lovers. So yeah, if you're looking for a deck that's very diverse in terms of gender, um, race, and um, sexuality, then this is definitely a deck that you should get. There's a lot of people of color. Um, sexuality, two males is in there. Sorry, I keep hitting the camera here. And, oh, and body shapes as well. So not, not everyone's thin, auto-like. So I've had this deck for about a week. I haven't, honestly, I haven't used it um, lately, as of late. I just haven't, I haven't been in that mood where I want to read with cards. I haven't honestly touched any of my, my cards except for this deck when I opened it and I did the unboxing video. Um, I don't know, I go through phases where I'm really, really into tarot and it's, that's all I want to read about and, and see and do. The heat. So this, I'm assuming this is sun. I was definitely wrong. The heat. Hmm. I wonder what that could be. Let's look it up. So that's obviously a major arcana. Let's see where we can find it. Major. Magician. So I'm trying to apply my knowledge of tarot to see what that would be, the heat. I'm spacing out, I'm like I said, late as of lately, that's terrible. I haven't had much of a motivation for it. That'd be like an extra card. I think it, it is an extra card. So it is an extra card. And it, my, for some reason, I don't know if it's gonna, my camera is very shaky, even though it's not moving. So hopefully the video is not gonna be like that. Oh, by the way, these are the backs. I love the backs. It's love the color, and I'm assuming this is um, the image of the Mississippi. The Mississippi Delta. Anyway, so I'm not going to do a full walkthrough. Walk <clears throat> That's pretty much it. So, overall, I like it. I'm probably not going to use it. Um, unless somebody is asking for a very diverse deck. Um, if the cardstock was <laughs> up to my standards, I would probably use it but because it's not I feel like it's gonna chip it's it, yeah it's gonna probably collect a little dust on my bookshelf um, I will take it out 
once in a while probably and maybe try reading or go through the cards because even though I don't use all of my decks I have them for a reason it uh, fills certain a certain criteria that I'm looking for and this deck certainly does um, so it's definitely very well um, a very well done deck in terms of images and it does fit nicely in my collection. Alright, well thank you guys for joining me. Hopefully I'll be making more videos once I probably um, get out of this like weird funk that I'm in. This tarot funk. So, thank you guys for joining me. Have a nice day. Hey, so false alarm. Um, so I figured since I'm already here, I'm already set up and I have the deck with me. Um, I thought I would go through um, getting to know the new um, new names of the suits. And then I want to go through some of the new cards that are being added. So uh, these are major, major arcana cards that were added uh, to the original 22. So um, we have the heat which I thought it might have been replacing the sun, but it's not. Um, and then we have the Termite Swarm, Mardi Gras, Hurricane, the Levy, and Harm Reduction. So from, without even reading the book, um, I can already tell these have a deep meaning to um, to Lu Louisiana to the south especially Lu Louisiana where the deck was made um, so it has a great meaning to them um, the levee the hurricane Hurricane Katrina um, destroying the levee and ca causing the, the whole state to flood uh, Mardi Gras where everyone knows that's a place to be for Mardi Gras. Mardi Gras. Um, the Termite Swarm, I'm guessing, I've never been to the south. Well, I mean, I've been, been to certain parts, but um, not during the summer. So I do know there's a lot of bugs. And then the heat, the heat, um, which I did read a little bit on the heat. Um, it talks about the humidity that is found throughout the south. Um, and there's no way to escape it. So it's a big role. These are things that are big in the South, especially Louisiana. Um, so I do want to go through the suits a bit. I'm not going to go through the Ace through Ten and the Court cards. I'm just going to go through the Aces and the Court cards because the Court cards are also renamed in this deck. But but as you see, the Ace is very very traditional um, to the Rider Waite Smith. Um, I actually love them. I think they look great. I love the the, the colors that are associ associated with the uh, with the suits. Okay, so I'm going to start with the oak. So the suit of oaks um, are replacing the suit of wands. Um, so this is the ace, and like I said, I'm gonna go right through the court cards. So, novice of oaks um, is replacing the uh, page of wands. So, as we all know, with the Rider Waite Smith system, uh, the page, a lot of the times, will represent somebody who's younger younger of age so if I'm not mistaking that is sort of the theme that this deck also has the warrior will replace the um, knight the seer will replace the queen and the sage will replace the king so I do like how the um, so even though this deck 
is very closely related to the Rider Waite Smith, very traditional in that sense. It's it does steer away from obviously from the renaming of the suits, adding new cards to the majors. Um it, it does stray away with the king, the sage being a male. And we ha do have a female here. Okay, the moths will be replacing the swords. Which kind of makes sense. Makes sense. Uh, a moth flies. It's up in the air. Swords are about air. Novice, as we can see, someone younger as well. The warrior. Seer. And sage. Now on to the cup of suits, um, the suit, and now, and now to the uh, suit of cups, which will be replaced by the oysters. Novice, page, warrior, knight, seer, queen, sage, king. Cast irons uh, replace the pentacles. Novice, which I'll be repeating once again. Page, warrior, page, seer, queen, sage, king. So, just going through the deck. Um, Going through the deck and looking at it closely, it kind of did grow on me a little bit more. Um, kind of looking at the cards a little bit longer, it's it's very traditional, yet it's not. Um, so I, I can definitely see the appeal of this deck, and for this that same reason. This deck is definitely going to stay in my collection. Will not be. I will be keeping it. I'm not going to be parting with it. Um, the backs are amazing. Um, I really do love them. And they go very well with my um, reading cloth that I have here. Okay, so that's been a walkthrough of the Delta Enduring Tarot. Thank you for joining me at the Tarot Closet. Um, hopefully I'll see you guys soon. Bye.